Welcome back to the iBos, it's me Vincent here and I'm ready to crack open the multiverse with Loki. Marvel Studios released the trailer for Loki and in this video I am going to try and decode the scenes and explain everything that I see. Before I start though, if you can please subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Twitter, the link is down below. Let's begin. Hobie? Hello? We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Mobius! Wow! Great to see you again! <laughs> that, that's what's been happening. Wow! Time slipping. Wait, you, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Only one way to find out. A little good old fashioned leg work. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate, cerebral approach really good buy. It's up to us to save this place. Is this cracked? Yes, babe. Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. Who lives and who dies? Make the hard choice. It's him. You better run! War is on its way. Come on, you're the god of mischief. Always have been, always will be. over the top, don't you think? I thought it was spot on. Marvel.com fans who know that Loki and Sylvie did something at the end of that series yeah. that sort of allowed all of this to, to be possible. He Who Remains is gone, and that allowed a spell to go wrong in Spider-Man No Way Home, which leads to the entire multiverse going quite mad in, in this. So now the multiverse is cracked up, and if you listen to what Loki said in the trailer, he's being pulled through time. I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? There was a source that stated that the TVA Loki is in the same TVA, just a different point in time. And if that is the case, then we can hope that the Mobius we're following, Hunter B-15, and the rest of the cast that we met in season one, will soon know who the actual god of mischief is. We see Loki time slipping in different areas 
I like how time slipping looks in the MCU and it's similar vibes to Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse where the Spider-Men of that go to different universes unless they have like a uh, technology they're glitching because they're in the wrong universe we then see the sacred timeline screen and it looks different it seems like they've closed part of the incursions and we see Mobius seeing the exact thing later in the trailer we then see Loki using the pruning stick and reveals Kang. Then we see and we you know we enter the elevator. We then enter a portal that takes us to the olden times, maybe setting up that scene at the end of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania and the scene in the trailer that we see a variant of Kang, Victor Timely. Next scene we see is Mobius and Loki eating pie and then we see a cinema premiere. And then we see Sylvie in an old McDonald's uniform. Sylvie attacks a TVA employee. Then we see the end of time essentially. Where we left Sylvie last in season 1. And where she killed He Who Remains. And we still see He Who Remains. Then we see Mobius walking to the sacred timeline. And remember how I said that the closed part of the timeline. Yeah, it looks different. We see Ravona Renslayer in the scene. So it confirms that Gugu and Barfara, you know, just most of the cast from the season one is returning essentially. Um, then we see Victor Timely saying, make the right, um, sorry, make the hard choice. But in a sense, when Loki's asking, how does he know? It's also about making the right choice as well. But as Victor Timely said, make the hard choice. Make the hard choice. It's him. You better run! And after that, we see a magnified, a gigantic, a bigger Miss Minutes, looking creepy and grey, like she's a bit sick, or maybe she's afraid of Kang, or she's the creation of Kang, or maybe she's the first version of Miss Minutes, like the first, like a Miss Minutes point one, the original. Then the rest that we're seeing, like maybe the one that we that we saw in the TVA in season one, is like a minute a Miss Minutes part, you know, point two, like a version point two. This is the original version maybe that we're meeting. And she screams, You better run. Maybe this is the first version of Miss Minutes. Then we end with some battle scenes with Loki, Sylvia Mobius. Then we see Loki walking into the title trip the title card, you know, as it changes. And It's very interesting. I like it. And it ends with Loki in a duplicated tuxedo suit with like three other Lokis. Again, they're all duplicated versions. And that's where the, that's where essentially the trailer ends. I cannot wait for the series. And I know that, I know I've said I've not broken any, that um, I would break things down. I probably won't break anything down, but I'll probably speculate and put my own theories out there. But I cannot wait for this series to drop. And it's dropping on Disney+. Plus. I'm hyped for October 6th. But I want to hear from you. What is your thoughts on Loki Season 2's trailer? What do you think is the real villain? We know that Kate is a... Um, is it Kate Dillon? I knew that... Oh, what's her name? But there was a... There was a, a actress confirmed... To be the villain of season 2. I think her name is Kate Dickey. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really quite sure if it's Kate Dickey. Yeah, okay. According to Deadline... Kate Dickey is joining the cast as the villain. So we've not seen her in this trailer. So with that in mind, maybe there's a chance that maybe Disney Plus and Marvel may offer us a second trailer like they did for Loki Season 1. And it may show us this villain or maybe they'll keep it close to the chest like they did with the reveal of He Who Remains. And just put that presence of an unknown villain out there. You know, in Season 1, the trailer didn't really confirm Kang until maybe like 
the theorists started speculating more as the episodes were releasing about Kang the Conqueror. Maybe it'll be like that. That maybe by episode 3 or 4, that's when we meet our villain. Or we get a sense of who the villain is. But again, I want to thank you so, so much for watching the video and listening to me. But if you can please follow me on Twitter. The link is down below. And subscribe to the channel so you get daily daily notifications whenever I upload a video. Yeah, thank you so much and see you soon. So much about sponsoring and I've I have to go and email them back and call their management area. They said I can keep on sponsoring them and all that if if I'm able to email the management area and they confirm I can keep on sponsoring them then that's even more sponsors that I'll be doing a power director. But let's do this Power Director sponsor. I love Power Director so much. I have all the other apps I've used in the past. This has been the best one I have used and I love it. It's just really good. And after this after this um, breakdown I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and email them. I'm gonna go and email them. Because honestly they're really really good there's no there's no there's no there's nothing basically i'm i'm doing this because i love power director they have so much things you can and they always update their things as well i'm gonna go and email them right now you see you're hearing me email them Okay, I'm not going to email them, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do another one, yeah. Let me, let me just read, they said, Dear, Dear Ivo, you understand that you are suggesting that you would like us to invite you about a partnership in the company. We are more than willing to assist you with your concern. We've referred, referred, but first, oh, okay, with with um the friends. Okay, sorry. Referring to the query, we we may suggest con contact the marketing team a team directly. Kindly contact the link below and select marketing opportunities. And I'm on there right now. And I can honestly go. I'm tagging you right now. Okay, so I have just done the application and submitting it right now. But going back to my point, Power Direct has got really good apps really it's got more than just using it for for um videos you can make photos power dv face me all of this power directed by cyberlink does this a really good app if i was you i would if you're if you're starting to make like a memory video of maybe a year you want you want to start doing something like to remember the years and your past and etc you, you want to buy you want to make like a memory of 2020 and by end of it you can just use all that connect in one time just click 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 you can even edit the timing you can put music on there it's got everything for you and if you download your own music you can use your own music as well if you create music yourself and you sing as well you can add your own music there as well as it's got everything there for you honestly if you want to make videos this is the best thing to do and it goes back to the part of if you want to make youtube videos and you try something else and you're like okay i like it i'm getting used to it 
try Power Director in like a few days before you can be like, oh, next video, please. Next, because it's really, really good. It's really persuasive of how it wants you to do things. It updates it on the weather, etc. It is amazing. Go and download the Power Director on your phone. Sorry, I cannot put it on the link, but you can find it on the phone. It's Cyberlink Power Director. I'm going to say again, Cyberlink Power Director. I'm going to tell you now, honestly, you have to pay for some extra things. Most of them are free. You can use them, honestly. It's a really good app. Not, not really that much money being used. You know, and as I'm going to say again, it's it pays, most of it is free, only like a little bit that you have to pay a bit. So again, download Cyberlink Power Networks on your phone and store your, your YouTube videos or your memory videos or any type of videos today.